Is the right time to buy an electric vehicle? Maybe. The offer in Europe is increasing a lot. There are new models on the market and the existing ones has more powerful engines and also more capable batteries packs. But there is two problems related to the electric cars. One is the price and the other one is the range. In this video, we want to answer a very simple question to the potential buyers of an electric vehicle. Which is the range we can expect if I buy an electric car? In collaboration with Autobest, one of the most prestigious European motoring juries and the circuit of Barcelona, Catalonia, in which we are in this moment, we will test all the electric vehicles on sale in the market with more than 200 kilometers of homologated range. And what we will do is to drive these cars in real conditions to inform you which is the real range of each one. I will present you all the cars in alphabetical order. BMW i3 Futuristic, urban and technological, the i3 is a 5 doors 4 seats car launched 5 years ago. Improved at the end of 2017, exists in two versions, normal and S, the last with a more powerful motor. The normal version we use in this test has a 125 kW engine and a an one year old new battery with a capacity of 33 kWh instead of 22. The homologated range in net form is 300 km but 225 following the new WBLTP protocol. Price in Spain starts at 38,200 euros. Hyundai Ioniq. This is the electric version of a car that also exists under hybrid and plug-in hybrid forms. The Ioniq EB has 5 doors and 5 seats and was launched last year. Its electric motor offers 88 kilowatts and the battery has a capacity of 28 kilowatts hour. Hyundai had announced a new 39 kilowatts hour battery for this car in the next future. The official range in the net cycle is 280 kilometers. This figure becomes 204 kilometers under the new WBLTP cycle. The price in Spain starts at 34,925 euros. Jaguar I-Pace First electric premium SUV developed by an European brand, this Jaguar will compete against the Tesla Model X and future models as the Mercedes EQC and the Audi e-tron, both scheduled for later this year. The 5 seats, 5 doors I-Pace, now in launching phase, offers an elegant aluminum body combined with a roomy interior. The iPace has two electric machines, one per axle, an all-wheel drive system and a pneumatic suspension. The power is 295 kilowatts and the battery has a huge capacity of 90 kilowatts hour. Homologated only under the new WBLTB protocol, announced 480 kilometers of official range. Price in Spain starts at 79,100 euros. Kia Soul. This Korean model is on sale in Europe since 2014 and despite some improvements has a still the same motor. It's a 5-door, five 5-seat five car sharing dimensions with the rest of the Soul Thermic model's range. Some little details in the exterior look tailors it. The electric machine develops 81.5 kW and the 30 kWh battery has now 3 more kWh versus the former one. The range under the net cycle is 250 km and despite not being yet homologated under the new WBLTP protocol, the estimate range could be about 185 km. The price starts in Spain at 23,875 euros, but with an optional fast CHAdeMO internal charging system, it increases to 27,090 euros. Nissan Leaf. The second generation of this Japanese electric hatchback, the world's best-seller EV car, has been improved in every aspect. More attractive, roomier, 
and with a new, more powered engine, the Leaf wants to maintain its leadership also in Europe. Under the 5 doors, 5 seats new body, we find a 110 kW motor and a 40 kWh capacity battery. The net range is an optimistic 378 km, falling down to 285 when WBLTP protocol is applied. Nissan announced for the next year a more powerful, more range version. Price in Spain starts from 31,900 euros. Opel Ampera E. This compact model is only on sale in selected European markets as Norway, Germany, the Netherlands or Switzerland. Developed by General Motors has a minivan style 5 doors, 5 seats body and shares every component with the Chevrolet Bolt, a car that is not on sale in Europe. The Ampera E motor announced 150 kW fit by a 60 kWh battery. The brand has homologated a 520 km net range that becomes 380 under the new WBLTP cycle. Being not on sale in Spain, the price we give you is the German one, starting from 42,990 euros. Renault Zoe, a veteran electric car on sale since 2013, is a 4 meters compact hatchback that had received recently a 41 kWh capacity battery in place of the 22 kW former one. With this new battery, the Zoe homologated 400 km net range, but under the WBLTP protocol this figure is reduced to 300 km. The engine has been also improved and now announced 80 kW. In Spain, the Zoe is available in three different trims starting from 20,350 euros when you buy the car and rent the battery, or from 27,850 euros if you buy both car and battery. Tesla Model S First luxury electric sedan, the Model S has been updated both in design and technology since the European launch in 2014. 5 meters long, this 5 or 7 seat sporty car has 2 boots and 2 engines, one per axle, and thanks to this it's an all-wheel drive car. This model is on sale in 3 different versions, 75D with 319 kW, 100D with the same motors but an extended range, and P100D with a more powerful rear motor that provides exhilarating performance. 75 and 100 figures refers to the battery capacity of each version. The range only under net protocol is 632 km. The Model S starting price is 86,000 euros and includes a 400 kilowatt year fee to use in the Tesla Superchargers net. The brand offers also constant software updates and the autopilot hands-free system. Our unit is a 100D, the intermediate version. Tesla Model X Second Tesla model, this is an original 5-door 7-seat SUV with rear Falcon-style electric doors. Mechanically identical to the Model S, it shares with the sedan both platform and motors, but not the starting price. The Model X is offered from 91,550 euros. More weight and worse aerodynamics means the car has less range than the Model S, 565 km under the next cycle. Our Model X was a 100D with a 100 kWh capacity battery. On a Tesla supercharger, both Tesla models can gain 100 km every 10 minutes charge. Volkswagen e-Golf the Golf is the only car in the world available with conventional engines, petrol, diesel or natural gas, and in plug-in, hybrid and EV modes. The last one is called e-Golf and was updated last year. Now has a 35 kWh battery instead of the 24 previous one. The motor is also more powerful with a new figure of 100 kW. The e-Golf, as big and as roomy as the rest of the range models, has improved the homologated range. Now, under next cycle, announced 300 km but only 219 under the new WBLTP1. 
The price starts from 38,435 euros. In addition to all the mentioned cars, we expected also a Hyundai Kona. The car was promised to us, but unfortunately it didn't arrive. The Kona launched these days in all European markets has an homologated WBLTP range of 482 kilometers. Once the car's presented, we will explain you the rules of the test. Our idea was to discover the real range of each model, which means how many kilometers a normal user could do at the wheel of the ZBs. To achieve this, we designed a journey in the surroundings of Barcelona and in the city itself, combining roads, motorways and city streets. We used all the cars in normal mode, not eco mode, not a sporty mode with the climate on between 19 and 23 degrees and with the tire pressures recommended by the brands. All the cars were equipped with a Blunik, a device very popular to calculate speeds and distances in the regularity rallies for classic cars. We choose it for the precision offered and we calibrate all the Blunik devices in the same proportion before the start of the test. We did the test two times. On July 9th, with all the cars driven by Coaches.net journalists and contributors, and on July 11th, with the colleagues of Autobest driving the cars. Autobest is the largest journalist jury in Europe, and every year selects the best bike car in Europe, one of the most prestigious European awards. To avoid problems during the journey, we divided the EV cars in three groups guided by a Seat Alhambra each. We start from Barcelona Catalonia circuit with temperatures from 26 to 33 degrees Celsius. We drove to Terrassa by motorway, we followed little roads to Leza, and then by motorway again, we reached Elbrook. There, both Tesla, the Ampera E and the Jaguar started a new motorway portion of 96 km to compensate its superior range. We found the typical traffic of a big city environment with lots of lorries and some traffic jumps, and the drivers exchange their cars every 40 kilometers to avoid the human style factor in the final results. From Ulbruck, we drove towards Barcelona by motorway, and once in the city, we drove for 50 kilometers visiting many iconic places as, for example, the former circuit of Montjuic, where three Spanish Formula 1 GP were organized in the early 70s. Then we had a lunch in the Ace Café Barcelona before the return to Barcelona Catalunya circuit. Both Tesla, the Opel, the Renault, the Volkswagen and the Nissan covered some new loops in order to reduce the remaining range to just 50 km. Then we entered the GP track to drive the cars at 60 km per hour until all of it showed the remaining 5 km range. We did it in order to avoid problems in the open roads because our intention was to run out the batteries completely. We finished the test in the paddock driving the cars until they completely stopped. And this is the final results from less to more real range. Hyundai Ionic Electric 199 kilometers in the first test and 224 kilometers in the second one. Close to 212 kilometers on average with a consumption of 12.2 kilowatts hour every 100 kilometers, the lowest of the cars tested. The Ionic accomplished its promises, having an average over the homologated WBLTP range. When a zero indication appears, the Ionic can still run for 5 to 8 more kilometers. Kia Soul, 214 km the first day and 222 the second one. The Soul demonstrates that it is able to achieve the homologated figures. With an average of 218 km is far from the 250 km in net cycle, but overtakes the 185 calculated as a WBLTP cycle. The average consumption was 13.6 kWh. As its brother from Hyundai, the remaining range for the Soul when battery empty is announced, is close to 7 kilometers. Nissan Leaf 
235 km the first day and 220 in the second one. The Leaf was the only car that achieved a lower range in the second day. The Nissan result was far from the WBLTP homologated. The average of 228 km means only the 80% of the promised range is achieved. This result, a bit disappointing, is probably due to the high consumption of the car, with a figure of 16.3 kWh. The Leaf runs for additional 24 km when the battery was officially at 0%. BMW i3 The new battery allows the German model to achieve 225 km the first day and 237 the second one, equalizing first and overtaking then the homologated WB LTP figure. With a consumption of 14.8 kWh, the i3 was the car that ran the most when zero battery was announced with an unexpected 30 km. When we tested the previous version four years ago, the result was very different. Then the brand decided to take care of their more careless customers. Volkswagen e-Golf, another model that progresses a lot thanks to the new battery equipped. With 218 km in the first test and 244 in the second one, the e-Golf reached an average of 231 km, clearly higher than the 219 km announced under WBLTP cycle. The consumption of this car was 12.4 kWh, the better one after the Ionic. On the other hand, the e-Golf is the car that runs the less once the battery is officially empty, with only 5 km of remaining range. Renault Zoe The new 40 kWh battery allows the Renault Zoe approach the 300 km announced under the WBLTP cycle, a very good result for a urban pilot car. Our Zoe achieved 273 km in the first test and 295 the second day, with an average of 284 km and a consumption of 14.6 kWh. The Zoe never shows a zero in the combimeter. The range disappears when it's lower than 8 km, and since this moment, the car runs another 15 km until its complete stop. Jaguar i -Pace. Our i unit wasn't a production car. It was a pre-production unit coming directly from the press launch in Portugal. And the brand told us they will introduce some more software adjustment before the sales starts. This probably explains the poor result of the car in terms of range. The numbers itself are not bad, with 307 km the first day and 309 in the second one but the average of 313 is far from the homologated WBLTP figure of 480 km. The Jaguar, with 27.5 kWh, was the car that consumes the more. Once zero battery is announced, you have still 10 km of remaining range in this car. Opel Ampere E 379 km the first day and 375 the second one, with an average of 377. With those figures, the Opel Ampere E accomplished its promises in terms of range, approaching the homologated 380 km WB LTP. This model has a high energy consumption figure of 16.1 kWh, logical by the way, having a such powerful engine. The Ampere E show an advert of low battery when less than 25 km is achieved, and since this point it is able to run for some 30 km more. Tesla Model X The American SUV reaches 404 km the first day and 395 the second one, with an average of 400 km. With its consumption of 23.4 kWh, the average result is not far from the 430 km we estimate as a WB LTP cycle, under which the car is not still homologated. Tesla cars has a remaining range of 10 km when the battery reaches the zero level and are blocked when it stops. You can unblock it through the dedicated menu in the big central screen and then push them to the plug. 
Tesla Model S, the model with the higher range in this test. The Tesla Luxury Sedan achieves 411 km in the first test and 433 in the second one, with an average of 422 km and a consumption of 20.6 kWh. Lighter and more aerodynamic than the Model X, the Model S achieved a 91% of its estimated range under the WB LTP protocol. This was not a handling or a performance test, and not even a maximum range test. The goal was answer a question that all potential users of an electric vehicle poses themselves. Which is the real range I can expect if I consider buying an electric vehicle? This is the reason why we use the cars as we were the owners to achieve the results we show you in this video. We need to precise that the final results with a 10% range difference in some of the cars between the two test days shows how the consumption and the range of the electric vehicles can be affected by the traffic conditions, the driving style and the charge factors. The performance level of the electric cars has been upgraded in a very short period of time and those cars are ready to be used in the urban environment and even for medium journeys. The evolution of those cars in terms of range and power, the arrival of new recharge devices faster and more powerful, and the prices that will low when the competition truly starts, demonstrates that those cars are here to stay, and sooner or later, all of us will adopt it.